Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Uh, I wanted to do a video on our little infrared heater and to show you how it works. Now this is uh, iLiving and you can get these on Amazon. And if my memory serves me right, we got these for a hundred this one for $129. Now you can see it's on right now and uh, you can hear the fan it, it doesn't really make that much noise we've got it sitting on 73 yeah, let's see if you can see that it's hard to tell but it's actually sitting on 73 now this little heater will heat uh, these two rooms that we mostly live in during uh, like January February and March and uh, we do that to cut down on our electric bill because our house is nearly 3,000 square feet and it's just the two of us and the three dogs. Now the room we're in now is what we call our den. Uh, this is an older home and this used to be a back porch but it is all um, insulated. But we've got four windows in this room. Now I want to show you the windows. The sun comes up from this side of the house and in the morning when we first get up we open up all three of these windows and the shades and the curtains and get some of that passive solar in here which helps warm it up. Now we keep this heater sitting on 73 and we run it during the daytime. The furnace is actually sitting on 58 and it rarely comes on. But I wanted to show you that this little heater will keep us really comfortable in these two rooms and we say the best we can figure about forty dollars a month on our electric bill and you can see that you know forty dollars a month and that would pretty well pay for the little heater um, now this little heater would be great for an RV if you're po uh, parked in a uh, RV park and you've got free electricity I'm sure this little heater would would heat up the whole RV now we read up on all the reviews and everything from these type heaters on Amazon and we really didn't know which one to get and we just finally said well we'll just get this little one and uh, there were a lot of comments on there about some of the others they had an odor to them and all kinds of things and this one really had the least amount of co bad comments so we bought this one and we have been very very happy with it uh, it even comes with a little hand remote so at night if we're sitting watching TV and maybe we get a little hot which we sometimes do um, we, you can use the remote to cut it down. Now I wanted to uh, show you the rooms we're heating so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay I'm standing at our back door now and this is what we call our den. It's got four windows. Now this window is really kind of on the north side so we don't really open up that window. And there's my husband's recliner, my recliner, our little heater and there's the little bed that we made into three little beds for the dogs and of course they love that there's our TV now I wanted to show the ceilings the ceilings in this room are eight feet I think that's probably a normal height for a ceiling but the ceilings in the kitchen are ten feet so now this heater just definitely will heat these two rooms and only rarely does the furnace come on. Now I want to show you the doors. Now this door leads into our office and we keep that closed and we just kind of use the den as our office. And now here's the kitchen and by the way that the den is 15 by 15 and the kitchen is also 15 by 15. This door leads to the dining room. And that door leads to the foyer. There's my husband working on the taxes. We've got two windows in this room. And again, this room is 15 by 15 with 10 foot ceilings. Now, the only reason the ceilings in the office are not, I mean, excuse me, in the den are not 10 feet is because this used to be a back porch. So, and it is all insulated. Now, there's where we sit and really these two chairs sort of become our uh, office. I keep my computer, my laptop under that little table, and my husband keeps his under that little table. We can just sit here and work all day and be warm and cozy. 
Now, we thought about getting this heater for a couple years before we actually got this type of heater. Before that, we were using a little 1500 uh, type heater that just, you know, one we bought in Walmart. And it did okay, but it didn't heat both rooms. Now, this heater will heat both rooms and uh, now it comes with a setting of 68 degrees on it and of course you can just put that anywhere you want to and we find that 73 degrees works pretty good for us now sometimes after it's been running for a while you do have to cut it down so uh, this is pretty comfortable for us and uh, we think we save about forty dollars a month it's kind of hard to figure but uh, based on previous bills and of course the electric bill went up and trying to figure all that it, it, it worked out to be about forty dollars a month so you can see this heater would certainly pay for itself now I'm recording um, around the first week of March and the reason for that is we wanted to make sure that this heater worked and that it would save us money uh, before I did a recording on it because we don't want to recommend something that that doesn't work you know like it's supposed to but I can tell you that this heater most definitely works like it's supposed to. Now, I'm standing over all the way in front of the office door. And you hear how quiet that fan is? Now, I can actually feel some of the uh, heat coming from the fan this far away. And you notice it doesn't make a whole lot of noise. So, anyway, we uh, decided we just super, super like this little heater and uh, also think that it would be a great little heater for an RV or you know a little travel trailer and you know just plug it up when you're in the uh, uh, RV park but of course if you were boondocking you really wouldn't be able to use it if you just just had solar power but it would work certainly in campgrounds and I can see that it would work in a garage like if you had uh, I think probably a double car garage, if, if it was insulated, uh, you could probably heat it pretty well. Now, it'd probably take it about an hour to get it warmed up, but I think it would work very well, or really in any small space that you wanted to heat. Now, at night, of course, we don't run this little heater, and uh, sleeping upstairs, uh, we sleep under a uh, down comforter, and uh, we turn the heat down really to like 55 at night and uh, of course the dogs have their, their little snuggle beds and blankets so they do fine and we really like to sleep in a cold room so it works out great for us now when we get up in the morning first thing we do is open up these uh, curtains the blinds and the curtains and let that sun come in and that helps to heat it up in here and of course the windows in the kitchen are on the same side of the house so those windows uh, get that sun and so that helps you know heat the rooms up but we also let the furnace come on for just a little while and it gets warm pretty quick so I'd say maybe the furnace runs I don't know maybe 20 30 minutes at the most and then it's off and unless we have a really windy day uh, this heater you know keeps everything really warm uh, I'm not sure why the wind makes a difference but it does so I'd say the temperature out uh, this morning was probably about 40 it did get down to freezing last night and uh, I'm not sure what the temperature is supposed to be today probably in the 50s but this little heater definitely works and it will save you money on your electric bill I'm gonna have a link to the uh, to Amazon where you can get this little heater now th that's where we got ours and it shipped and we received it in about seven days and I think the price was $129 if I remember right and of course the shipping was free and it is shipped directly from the factory. Okay, see you next time.